Welcome to the Math Tutor on the topic of logarithms. In our study of, of uh, calculus and uh, pre-calculus, trigonometry and algebra and all these things, I've been stressing over and over again the importance of understanding opposites. Opposite of addition is subtraction. Opposite of multiplication is division. Opposite of squaring something is taking the square root of something. And those are useful in solving equations. Okay, very, very useful because you need to know the opposite. Here I'm going to teach you the opposite of the, the exponential, which we've looked at in the previous section. The opposite of an exponential is a logarithm. The opposite of a logarithm is an exponential. So as you might guess, they're going to be very useful in solving equations of certain types. So we need to understand them. Um, and in this section, I'm going to introduce the logarithm, plot it. We'll talk about some very important properties that you'll need to basically memorize because they're very important. And we'll go from there. So let's just dive right on into it. I'm going to give you a little primer on the subject material here, and then we'll go ahead and do some problems. If I have something that looks like this, y is equal to the logarithm, and I'm going to say it is the logarithm to the base a, it's a base, of the number x. What does that mean? You may see this in books, you will see this in books. Every logarithm has what's called a base. That's written as a subscript here, and the base in this case is a. You're also taking the logarithm of a number. In this case, you're taking the logarithm of x. So the logarithm of x with regard to the base a, you put that in a calculator or a computer, you'll get a number, and I'm just saying that that's equal to y. What that means is the following. How do you figure out the answer? This is the following. a to the y power equals x. This is a definition. This is something that you just can't derive. This is something that you look at in a book and it's circled and you have to understand it and you have to basically use it and memorize it. This is a definition. I told you that logarithms and exponentials were opposites and this is why they're opposite. You have a logarithm, you have a base a and you're doing it to a number x. How these things relate to each other is whatever this quantity is equal to over here, if you take the base a and raise it to whatever this number equals, you will get the number that you took the log of in the first place. So if you're trying to take, um, like on a calculator, you have that log button. So if you put a 2 in there and you take log 2, well, it's understood that the implied base is base 10 there. Okay, It's a, it's a base 10 there. So what the calculator is going to do is it's going to try to figure out the following. It's going to say, okay, 10 to the what power, and I just put a question mark here, equals 2. Okay, you know, that's really tough to do, so why don't we, why don't we change it and say the problem is um, log base 10 of 100. Okay, so it's going to say 10 to the what power is equal to 100. Well, you should be able to figure that out in your head. Uh, the question mark is, is going to equal 2, because 10 squared is 100. So if you take 100 and you press the log button which is implied a base 10 there okay it's going to put a 2 there because 10 to the what power equals this well that's that's 2 and that's what I mean here um, a to the y power equals x that's what this relation means here um, in, in, in the uh, big picture of things I've already mentioned that logarithms and exponentials are opposites of each other okay so if you think about it, what I mean by opposites, like uh, uh, opposites, what I mean is like if you have the square root of x and you take and you square that 